Hello, uh, this is Miss Sunday. I wanted to give you a few tips and pointers on paying the $20 technology fee that a lot of parents are doing right now. You start by going to any of the district websites and right here, this one that says online school payments, you're going to click on that and it's going to pull up. You can pull elementary schools, middle and high. All right, so I'm going to select H.E. McCracken. Most schools, I do believe right now, it's the first or in the top three or four payments on there. You select it by checking the blue box right here. It's going to tell you it is our technology usage fee. This is a $20 payment that you pay every year. It covers just a few basic, um, like one basic uh, repair, one main repair per year. And when you get done, you're going to click Add to your cart. All right, and I know it says 1923, but they do add a service fee, which will bring it up to the $20. All right, so if you have more than one child uh, or anything else at another school that you want to do, you could do that. If not, I'm going to go on over here to the checkout menu. And once you're in the checkout, it's going to have you put in your username. Um, you can use any username you want to create. Um, you will develop a password that you want it to save and keep. If you've forgotten your username and you know you've done this in the past, you can click here and get it. Um, if this is the first time you've ever paid it online, um, then you can select that you're a new user over here and fill out all this information over on the right. And then you would click create new. So again, two different variations. If you've paid for anything online before using this system, you log in here. If you've forgotten a username or password, it's right here. And then you would click log in. If you are never used this system, you would need to create one. You give them an email, you create a username and a password, um, and there's your hint and password answer section that has some people confused right here your student profile um, so on mine I have myself and my son in here uh, if you have multiple children you can select them if you've never used it before or need to add a new student you click over here on the right where it asks you to add a student You'll do the student profile, first name, last name, where it asks for student ID. That's where we've gotten the most questions, this section right here. Um, if you don't know your student ID, which I, I don't know my sons either, I just put in my cell phone number, which is what they have on record with PowerSchool. So if you have a mobile number that's your main contact number or a house phone number that's your main contact number, just put it in here. It would be the 10-digit number including the area code. And then you click on save and then that way you've got that student in there. And so then you can change that drop down box to be whichever student you wanted. And then at that point, it will ask you for the um, account information, your credit card information, and you would include that there. And then it will, at the end, give you a receipt. I think just for making things a little smoother, I might screenshot it, but it does email it to you. So you could also screenshot it there and bring that with you when you come to pick up your device. It's just an extra way to speed up the process. I hope this made it a little easier for you.